So I went and bought this canopy garage thing from Harbor Freight. It's supposed to be mobile. It's not. I've spent a total of an hour and some change in between rain spurts trying to put this thing together. Has brackets that sandwich the center beam into the lower portion. Brackets here, legs that kick out on the bottom that anchor into the ground. It goes into support here. And one of these are bolted right there at the top. Bolted there, 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 and on the other end. This is not a quick and easy job. If you're planning on buying one of these to try to save yourself some time, don't. See, it says there, portable shed. Yeah, okay. This is as portable as the portable lift was that I had that weighed 1,800 pounds. There wasn't anything portable about that either. Anyways, there's quite a few parts to this, and I've almost gotten it all the way together. I have to true up the corners before bolting everything down, and then it's getting slid over the top of that Toyota there. Because as if you can tell, there's water all over the mat that I would be laying on. So once I get this over top of it, I'm going to use my leaf blower and blow all the water off of it. And the truck, that way I don't get drenched from above. And I should be able to finish this thing up today. This is the one that I changed the valve body on. There is a couple things that I'd like to go over with it real quick before I end this video. You need grease. If you're doing it upside down, there is an accumulator piston that will fall out. And something else. I don't remember what, what piston that was. But pretty much everything has a likelihood of falling out. And you don't want that to happen because when you're putting the valve body back in you'll end up binding something up so put grease around the o-rings or grease around the aluminum housings put them back up in there and don't touch them again when you put the valve body on hopefully you have the strength of thor because holding it above your head like that from an angle like so uh, this direction is extremely difficult but I did manage to get a couple bolts started in there and was able to follow them all in. So far it does take gear. I have to put more transmission fluid in it. So I have rain in 20 minutes again. It's been raining all day today. All day yesterday, all day the day before. Right now I have a little bit of sun. So this is what I'm going to finish doing. That way I can stay dry. Thanks for watching.